going on everyone? This is issue 4 out of 4 of The Last of Us American Dreams, as promised. And uh, as always, I do a little recommendation in the beginning. I'm just going to throw out this art book here. It's actually published by Dark Horse as well. It's, it's pretty huge in size. Look at the size of it. And uh, this came in the Survival Edition, but you can also pick it up separate. I think it's like 35 retail. I picked it up for... I think it's like $21 off Amazon as a pre-order, so I don't know how much it is now, but just a quick flip. I would definitely recommend this art book. It's awesome. Shows the, you know, the art direction of the game is incredible. So it kind of shows you how they sketched it out and how it started, and then it has some really nice final pieces in there. So I'd definitely check that out. Also, uh, last but not least, I just wanted to say that... um since I'm coming to a close with this 4 out of 4, if you'd like to see anything else, um, I have uh, different kind of comics I could go through, things that aren't exactly mainstream, or if you want some mainstream, game reviews, etc. You know, you can check my channel. You see, like, I do some competitive gaming and things like that, some other things. But, um, anyhow, yeah, I had, like, the Dead Rising comic. Like, a lot of people like the games but never really bought the comics. So if you want summaries on that, you know, I could do that. So whatever you guys really want. Let my cat out there. All right, so let's, without further ado, let's get to this issue. So pretty much as you remember from issue three, Ellie was held captive by the Fireflies along with Riley. So they're pretty much just, you hear in the background here, you know, some of the Fireflies arguing about how this shouldn't have happened, and they were caught with their pants down more or less, and things like that. <clears throat> and then um, Ellie starts to awaken, and she hears them, uh, you know, still arguing about things and wondering what's going on. And they're pretty much arguing about shooting and who shot who and you didn't do anything. The other guy's saying he blew a stalker's heads off. So she's just awakening to all this and she's trying to be quiet and see what's going on and kind of assess the situation here. And then uh, as she gets up, uh, this one woman, Marlene... Told, tells her more or less to hold still and lets her go. So it looks like they're not in immediate danger. Maybe this happened just so they, you know, would stay calm or maybe they knocked them out so they wouldn't see how to get to this hideout or wherever they're going, which looks like an underground tunnel of some sort. So as they get through these, these few frames here, um, pretty much Riley is insisting that she wants to become a firefly. And... Marlene, she doesn't want to hear anything about it. She's just, she's like, you know, you know nothing about what being a firefly is. And tells her that she's wasting her time. She's really blunt about it. Which is understandable in this world and what she's seen, etc. So, as we go to the next page here. <clears throat> some guys come through this underground tunnel here. And they pretty much say that they need to um, give them their weapons. And there's a toll for crossing through the underground tunnel and things like that. And then they realize that they're flyer fly, fireflies, but they don't really care. So they're just like, you know, give us something. And Marlene's like, we'll give you some, you know, rations or the whatever those are called, like the food card type things that they have there. And um, then before you know it, one of the underground tunnel guys, he just blasts one of the fireflies, one of the male members. And that, that was pretty emotional. And then Marlene shoots him back and takes him out. So as this is going on, you see Ellie and Riley, and they're, they're just trying to take cover here. And then um, Ellie's telling Riley, hey, you know, like, while they're distracted, let's let's escape through the tunnel. You know, and Riley just says, pretty much says no, and breaks away from her hand. They were holding hands. And breaks away from her, and then runs for the gun, and wants to kill one of these underground members. Probably just to prove to them that she's worthy of being a firefly. So, as she goes to do that, uh, she gets yoinked, and pretty much the guy yoinks her back, and before you know it, <clears throat> she falls, gets cracked by a brick, so she falls away from him, he looks who threw the brick, and it was Ellie, and then, as that's happening, she falls back down, and he, Ellie takes his attention away, and she shoots him right in the back, so, to her, that was a big, you know, a big step, and she was able to prove that she was worthy. So the guy falls, and Marlene comes over to him, looks up, and shoots him right in the head. And it, it was pretty severe, you know, especially for kids. You know, despite the world they live in, they're still kids. So for them to see that at that age, for the first time, I'm sure, something that brutal was pretty strong. 
And uh, Riley points out to Marlene, you know, that's the second time we helped you out, just saying, you know. So she's a little cocky about it, but she's pretty much she saw that as her, you know, she's worthy of being a firefly right there. On the spot, that should be it. So Marlene takes that into consideration, and she throws her to the ground, slams her, you know, starts yelling at her, you, you know, do you think this is a game? And Riley's saying no. She's like, shut up and whatnot. You know, you, you don't even know the type of sacrifices we made. And meanwhile, Riley kind of drops a bomb. She's like, I know all about sacrifice. Do you know shit? I watched my dad turn and rip my mom to shreds. I killed my own father. So, you know, that's pretty deep right there. Like, that was a strong frame. I didn't expect that, honestly. And when she says that, you could tell, like, the situation just, it, it, told, it goes blank. You know, everyone just quiet, and she lets go of Riley. You know, it looks like she's not as fierce. But then a second later, she's like, do you? You know, you know, everyone else in the world had to do things like that. So do you really know about sacrifice? And just throws her down face-to-face -to, -face to the guy on the ground that was just killed by the underground tunnel guy. And, um... She's like, do you, you know, look at this guy, you know, half the fireflies end up crippled or dead. Do you want to make the sacrifice? Because if you do, I'll do it right now. Do you want to become a crippled? I'll maim you and things like that. And, you know, I, I think she's just testing Riley. I don't think she's going to do anything, but she, you know, she loads the gun. She gets ready and it looks like Riley is, she's with it. You know, she wants to become a firefly. She'll do anything. So as she's about to quote unquote shoot her, I really don't think she was going to. Ellie gets out of control, bites the, the other guard, and takes the gun and tells him to back up, asshole, fires a warning shot, things like that. And Marlene's telling her to take it easy, Ellie, you know, and she's wondering, how do you know my name? How do you know my name is Ellie? And she says, I know more than you think, you know, I know more than your name and whatnot. And that the envelope that she gave her, oh, by the way, in an earlier frame, she did hand her an envelope, my apologies, but I'm sure you could rewind and see that. She hands her an envelope early on. And she's like, in that envelope was a, a letter to you, and it was written by your mother before she died. And Ellie thinks she's just trying to mess with her and whatnot. But she explains that, no, you know, she says other things, like, you know, how many times you've been suspended from school, this and that. She's like, how do you know all this? And she tells her, because I have people watching you, watching you to make sure you've been safe. And you're in the military school because Marlene placed her in the military school, because it was a promise to her mother to keep her safe. And because she was in the military school, she found that as the safest place that she can be. So that's why she's there. And uh, obviously Ellie starts to believe her. And that's that's why this frame, you know, she starts to put down the gun. She asks Riley what she should do. And Riley's like, yeah, she's telling the truth. Just put down the gun, which she does. After that, she reaches in and gives her a memento. Oh, actually, are we there yeah, she she takes the gun, brings it back, asks her her mother's name, and her mother's name was Anna. So, we know that now. And then, she says, you know, we'll be seeing you, you know, get back to the military school, things like that, because it is the safest place. And she she tells her, point blank, I'm watching you, so don't pull another stunt like this. And as she's going up the ladder, that's when she says, wait, and she hands her a small memento from her mom and says it was Anna's. And don't get it confiscated and things like that. So now Riley and Ellie, both in good condition so far, walk up the ladder. And they're going back to the military school. And then Riley just stops and she says, there's no way out. And Ellie goes crazy. She's, she's like pretty much, you know, forget the stupid letter. Uh, forget this whole place, you know. Like, just fuck everyone in the city. Like, just forget it. I'm done. Like, we we could find our own place, you know. We could we could go out there and find somewhere else. And Riley, you know, she's like... She, I think she finds it heartwarming that Ellie even cares that much and wants to be a good friend to her. But she's like, pretty much all you're doing is finding another way to the same place, which is death. Because anywhere you go, you're going to die. And she realizes probably now that this is the safest place. So Riley's telling her, come on. And they hop the fence and they go back to the boarding school and pretty much just says, I'll see you tomorrow. So, your last frame here is just Ellie, and she reads the letter, obviously, as you see it up there, and then she pulls out the memento, holds it, and that's the end. And she's listening to her music, of course. So, that's the end of the, the Four Issue series right there. And I found it really good. I thought it was a, a good short story, 
and it, it really does give you a little more insight on Ellie and why she was with Marlene there. But ironically, you know, I, I I thought it would show a little more maybe on what happened to Riley. You know, maybe I don't know. We'd we'd really have to research that one. Oh, look at this. We got a visitor. But uh, we'll have to see, you know, and we'll have to see what they do in future games if they do do future games. So we'll see. But I think that was a strong series. So, again, uh, that's it. That's the 4 out of 4, as promised. She's loving it. And uh, leave me some comments if you want. Let me know what's going on. If you want some other series done. Like I said, I got a Dead Rising 4 issue set. Things like that, you know. Like, bigger series, it's a little rough, obviously. But small stuff like Dead Rising or even Revival, to some extent, is a good series. Check it out. But uh, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helped out. I know it was tough to get this comic in some places, so... Alright guys, later.